H.R. 3510 will require the Secretary of Homeland Security to develop a strategy and implementation plan for carrying out all of its cybersecurity missions. Today, DHS is not only responsible for working with federal agencies to protect federal civilian networks, but also for helping to bolster cybersecurity within the private sector, principally through the National Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Center, NCIC. It is also <clears throat> a major federal player in cyber research and development and cyber crime investigations. My bill requires that contents of the strategy to include the tr strategic and operational goals needed to execute the Secretary's cybersecurity responsibilities across the Department. It is also important that the Department show clear leadership for others in government and in the private sector, particularly critical infrastructure sectors by showing its own cyber strategic plan, objectives, and measurements for success across its many components. Consideration of H.R. 3510 today is timely. Just this week, uh, the DHS Office of Inspector General issued a report entitled, DHS Can Strengthen Its Cyber Mission Coordination Efforts. In it, GAO provided new and detailed information on the cybersecurity shortcomings in two specific DHS frontline components. The report also provided useful insight into the day-to-day -day programs, policies, and activities required to undertake the Secretary's full cybersecurity responsibilities. Ultimately, GAO recommended that DHS develop a strategic plan to improve cyber awareness in all of its agencies. <clears throat> My bill not only requires the strategy and implementation plan to tackle the functions and activities, activities carried out by NCIC, but it also requires the Secretary to include plans for increasing cybersecurity investigations, capabilities, amplifying cybersecurity research, development, and training, and increasing engagement with our international cybersecurity partners. In recent years, Congress has provided significant resources to DHS to build its cyber programs and workforce. Further, a lot of money has been spent to respond to cyber events and persistent cyber threats. We must make sure our investments in cyber operational plans and cyber R&D are technically achievable and transparent where they can be. Fundamentally, my bill seeks to assist the Department in development of a clear and measurable strategic posture that can be a model for, our, our government agency, for other government agencies and to help protect our nation's critical cyber infrastructure. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.